Right then. Right, this is me putting this trim on. I've got it on. That one looks okay. Right. For anybody who hasn't done it before, you've got these clips. I'll take it out. See, S clips that go on. You've got to put them on first. And that one well there's a new clip that's it fitted onto there and then once that's on you have to feed them in over the the rim on the door itself so this is going on the other side door fits on this rim here you just have to feed it on gently and then that goes into the door frame it's dead awkward but once once you've done it it looks okay but you've got you you put it in feed it on get the feeling of it that it's going onto that groove and you you have to hit it with something soft while well, i use the end of a, a um, screwdriver just to knock it on and then the bits for over the top i'm greasing up the door frame I'm just going to knock that on the same with a, something soft. I've got a screwdriver with a soft angle or a piece of wood maybe. So uh, that's that bit for anybody who hasn't done it. Right, that's the trim back on now, fitted. It's on, it's okay. It took a bit of bashing to get it on, like same at the other side. Right, this is me starting to put the trim on. I've got this piece on. I'm just starting with this one here but I've got to just trim the end there. I know it's damaged when I, I took it off because um, the door had been damaged but I'll have to just um, pull this bit off here and just grind it so it doesn't snag the um, the wing. So I'll just grind a little bit off the end here to fit and because uh, I can't get hold of any stuff I'm using uh, <laughs> rough and ready cardine flooring for the time being until I can get hold of some proper stuff but anyway I'll carry on I've got to drill this I think it'll be a, a dot of wood on here as a, a guide I'll have to get the missus to come and hold it while I uh, fit this I'd follow that line I'm not exactly sure here oh, that might be a bit too high so I'll probably have to follow that line of the uh, the, the join there I think that would probably be better but Right then, that's the um, new voltage regulator fitted and the new alternator. Oh, sorry, dynamo. Right, on, lights on. Right off, great. The uh, new voltage regulator and new dynamo down there. Everything's running nice, it's nice and warm now. I'm getting good charging voltage. That's good. So I'm in business now. Go on, get in, kids. <laughs> oh Richard, Gareth hasn't got his door shut properly. Yeah. 
He hasn't got reverse on leash. See what I mean about the judging, it's just got, it's just not completely correct. <coughs> it's alright if you take it up slowly. Up to what speed? I'm, I'm doing about 25, 30 now. Yeah, you can hear that knock in the steering as every little bump. So uh, eventually, I'll get that off and get it sorted. Chassis supported with uh, planks along the uh, rims there and then underneath that's, that's it, two great big bits of wood underneath that's that supported so now that that's supported I can start disconnecting the uh, well I'll have to put the jacks under the um, subframe and then start taking the bolts out so I can get this here uh, steering rack next job. Undo the wires is enough play just to get it out in uh, and to fan it around with all those wires so that's okay. Uh, I've got the uh, chat rod ends disconnected now and I've got underneath two jacks for the lowering the subframe slightly. I don't know how far I've got to lower it. I wish they say how much you've got to lower it by but Anyway, I've got the two hydraulic jacks underneath, so that's okay. Rack it out. Oh, a bit, bit tight. It's that. I'll tell you what it is. It's getting that through the gap. That's the uh, that's the hard bit. The other bit was all right actually. Once I got it down, I didn't want to lower it too much. But anyway, I've lowered it down, and oh, that's as far as I've lowered it on this side, just to make this that. It's that space just above the uh, gear change that's a bit tight for that rubber, but it went through anyway in the end. Went through, so I know I'm gonna have fun getting that back up. Yep, yeah, sure am. But it's out now anyway. Yeah, shaft taken apart with the bush here to the side. Uh, just gotta clean it up and everything now and wait for the spare bush to come, but that's it, all in pieces. Another jigsaw. Right, the steering's back in. I didn't film showing it, but anyway, um, I found the easiest way to do it was to uh, leave the gator off the far side, put it in, and then put the gator on with tie wraps. That's what I've used. I haven't used the uh, the old screw clamps, and uh, now it's everything's tight and what have you. Um, the knocking's gone. I'm going to go along the road now, the same road I went along before, and uh, he, I think you'll hear the difference. That's me coming along now, 30 miles an hour, over bumpy bits, and it's uh, nice and quiet. I'm a happy chappy.